Right, this is uh, job two coming off. Hello everybody, by the way. Friday afternoon. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, job two coming off now. And we're gonna do the last job on a Friday. We've got three in today. And we're going to MK17. The, the nightmare, because it's either Waitrose or Amazon or Lewis's. With booking times, ah, but 5.30 booking time on a Friday afternoon. I'm half an hour away from here, so hopefully I will get home before midnight. Uh, but just so I give you a little shout out, this is the last job on a Friday, John Lewis. Right, that's job two done. Uh, put it in the sat nav, I'm gonna be in Aspie de la Zouche. Uh, in 31 minutes, which is 10 to 2. I'm supposed to be there for free. So I might be able to get there early, get it on early, get to Lewis's early. Will I get it off in Lewis's early? That remains to be seen. Because MK17 is a law unto themselves. And if you've got a booking time of, say, R5, they might say, come back at R5. Often they'll let you in an hour early. Often they'll say half four. They may say, we're not busy. You can go in now. Which means I might get home early. Or they might put on another job. The future is yet to behold. We're all set. Drive safely. See if this gate opens while I'm angry. Turn left. No. And here we are winding our way around the country lanes on our way to Market Harbour. No, not Market Harbour, where am I going? Aspie de la Zouche. It's a great name, that, isn't it? Aspie de la Zouche. It sounds kind of French. It sounds sort of exotic. Where are you from? You know, you imagine somebody with like um, uh, the, the, the 10 inch bamboo cigarette holder and a black paint and leather glove going, I am from Aspie de la Zouche. Yeah, you know, probably is, I bet. I'm sure if you're a man, if you're a Maspie, I'm sure it's lovely. Uh, yeah, I've got a problem now because my plan, I am now truck driver and planner. I plan the lorries, sort the lorries out, and make sure everything's going according to plan. Well, we've got a job going out this afternoon. I'm supposed to go out this morning. It's a shunt we do every day from where well, every other day from. Um, goes into Cambridge but we decided to do it a little bit later because we're doing another job which is going from Bedford to Feltham drop it off reload back to Felt uh, back to Bedford nice and easy get that done do the shunt of course he's gone down to Feltham never done this job before he's been there over two hours now and he's there still mucking him about and it's a bit like we're not going to get back to do the shunt for our regular customer now which means we might have to do a double run on monday but the problem is i've got him a job booked straight after because i'm working on a diary now now i book the jobs in book him all day monday all day tuesday all day wednesday which is kind of nice because it takes the pressure off you know what you're doing on a daily basis well, on the minor side of things all it takes is one to go wrong and everything falls over like dominoes and then you have to ring people up and go that job i've got booked for you on monday afternoon that and that's not now and some people are going to get the needle about that it's a bit like mate you're telling me this now i've got my day sorted I'm doing as I'm told. You know, this is the new plan. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it may work, it may not work. We'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, I'm just hoping we can get um, Andy out of Feltham before it gets dark. Right, here we come into Aspidelazouche. Aspidelazouche. Is it the exotic location that it sounds like? Is it? sunbeds and umbrellas and pools and tanned people on mopeds and you know some sort of exotic location no right here we are spoke to the guy already give him the reference number I had a reference number that's a boon isn't it um collection is one pallet seven and a half ton job and it's ready now so that's half the journey it's now up past two get the pallet on probably do that in the next 10-15 minutes quarter say dogs away five past two quarter past two down to lewis's quarter past half four praying they'll let me in let's get the paddy on Claire, 
put your hand up. Right. You know what? This is the thing. I mean, <laughs> that's a little bit of an 18 ton. Yeah, for, for something that you could actually fit in the boot of your car. No, but you turn up in a car and they go, nope. Yeah, off you go. Right. 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 Well, loaded in five minutes. That's, un that's incredibly quick. Uh, which means I'm now going to be at Lewis's at 20 to 4 for a. For basically half three for half five booking. Oh, I shall try and use my charm. Yeah, I've got no chance. Neutral. Sorry. Right, let's take it out of the gate. Guess it's automatic gate. Guess I've done this one. It's getting a bit ever so warm for February. You know, it's like 10 degrees on the 1st of February. That's kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't, it doesn't bode well for the climate, like, does it? You know, so still, there are loads of Jaffa cakes. There we go. Hey, an automatic opening. That's what we like to see, right? Here we go. Seatbelt on. Hour and a half. Hour and a half driving left on a Friday afternoon. And then, of course, there's the journey home, but there's no distance at all. So, onwards and upwards, everybody. It's time to hit the road. Bearing in mind I'm going to be there stupid early. Um, no, I say stupid early, 20 to 4. 20 to 4 sounds closer to half past 5 than half past 3 does. I'm still 20 to 4, still half past 3. I'm thinking of things that I can do on the way. I've just checked, I'm low on fuel. So the debate is do I fill it up completely? Because I hate stopping for fuel. And, stuff. No, and, and this, this, this truck that seems to take more fuel than a jet aircraft. Um, I think it takes something like, oh, I can't remember, 400 litres. It's a loopy amount of fuel, like, you know, it's huge. You stand there, you give it up 15 minutes, you get cramped. Um, but then there's A, it will come out of this week's fuel bill, which again, is not my fuel bill, it's uh, Transport IT's, but I'm sure it'd be nice not to see it come out of the very last thing on a Friday. Um, and the second thing is you're sitting there with a tank of fuel, and, you know, in the lorry over the weekend, and if any nefarious gentlemen decide that it's time to um, stick a pipe in it, not that they would, but if they did, it's sort of like, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's going, well, what did my mate Lawrence once say? He said with the catalytic converters, oh, I'll come around here. Yeah, yeah, cheers, thank you. Um, he said, you know, the catalytic converters, are uh, basically to, to make them work they contain platinum so what you do is you strap something to the bottom of your van with three bolts that's got platinum in it <laughs> he said it's the equivalent of putting diamonds in sort of a windscreen you know please you're gonna wake up in the morning there's gonna be no windscreen Someone's nicked your windscreen and gone straight down to Atten Garden and gone, how much for these, son? You know, so, yeah, from that point of view. Uh, Andy, by the way, is not going to make it back for the shunt. The shunt has had to be subbed out. It's unfortunate, but at least um, the tower still stands. The, uh, that's got better. Uh, yeah, the, um, yeah, the, the, the jobs are still working, so I don't think I'll find any new ones. So, right, that's it with my um, sunshiny, shady face, as I can see on my reflection now. We are now on, well, we're on the M1, aren't we? We've got to be on the M1. Absolutely, on the M1, and uh, an hour and nine minutes. Traffic for me, in, and, unless we stop for fuel, which I think we probably will. Well, here we are, Leicester Services. I was here the other day. That's right. I thought it was going to take me forever to fill up because they only seem to have one pump working, but we're okay now. So, straight in on the pump. Still, this will kill another 10, 15 minutes. Okay, fuel is on that side. Look at that. 
And we've got this one has got the fuel tank and the air blue on different sides. So I guess it makes sense for balance. But from the point of view of actually getting the fuel, it's a pain. Because if you've got only one pump on one side, you're going to get one. Anyhow, let's go and get some fuel in. That's me, all fueled up and ready to go. And now I look like we're going to be in Lewis's at four o'clock. So, still an hour and a half early. Oh, why is he see a traffic jam and think, well, that could solve my problem? Actually, it won't because I haven't got a ton of driving time left either. If I if I have to hit traffic, there's a good chance I, have, I might have to stop. Um, they might be nice this Friday afternoon. We'll see. I'd like say in about an hour's time we'll find out. If I ever get out of here. And here we are, Milton Keynes. Comes named after from the Latin Miltonos Keynos, which directly translates to land of many roundabouts. And there's Lewis's up ahead. Now there are three of them. It's MP1, MP2, and MP3. We need MP2. We are going to get there. Uh, bum, 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 bum. One minute past four with a half five booking time. They normally allow you an hour either way. It's Friday afternoon, it's one pallet. I just got to keep my fingers crossed and see what happens. MP3, right, MP2, where are you? Here we go in. Not many in there. There's no queue. Fingers crossed time, isn't it, really? Can't be very polite. Am I too far forward? Shall I come back a bit? Uh, a reference is uh, K. Hey, I'll, I'll let you read it because it's. Oh, uh, 369460. It's one pallet. <laughs> oh, I know, but it's one pallet. And I get to go home after I drop this one pallet. I think I can carry it off. It would go in the boot of my car. <laughs> Tell them the driver's begging very politely. <laughs> She said, Yeah, go. One panic delivery for five thirty can be let him through. <laughs> He said, please. Hurry. Good old John Lewis. I knew they wouldn't let me down. Uh, thank you. Thank you. They said yes. Yes, look, no, I've done my magic, didn't it? <laughs> well, it's made me very happy, particularly on a Friday afternoon, yeah. You're on a promise, I guess. <laughs> Mate, I've forgotten what that word even, that phrase even means. <laughs> You know where to go? Uh, yeah, the booking office just over there, yeah. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Right, it's an hour later. I've just walked out of the office. 
Unfortunately, the guy in front of me had three, two pallets, but three booking numbers, one of which wasn't correct. And I was sitting there just trying to figure it out. Um, the way I figure it though, I'm still 35 minutes ahead of the game. And I've got a bay now, bay 14. So it's only one pallet, could still be on a winner. Well, that's the boon. I give him all the paperwork, and I says, uh, "Right, I've only got one pallet. Should I go and sit back in the lounge?" He says, "Might as well just wait here. I think they're going to get it off now." And that's me done. Five minutes, an hour to sort out the paperwork of the geezer in front of me. Two minutes to sort out mine. Five minutes gets it, but I am still going to chalk that one up as a win because it's now five past. It's five o'clock on a Friday. I'm half an hour away from the house. Well, I say last week was ten o'clock. Um, and they could have said to me at the gate, you're not, you're not even coming in till half five, mate, and then gone through the whole thing, and that could have been an awful lot worse. So uh, that's it. Delivering to John Lewis is not so bad. It's just a distribution centre. You might be lucky, you might be unlucky. You might be in your five minutes, you might be there for four hours. So rolling the dice when you're running a truck and doing your very best to take care and take money.